Hi, we're going to create a graph that shows the number of keywords that are showing up for a website in organic search over time. So like how many keywords do we have showing up in Google um, for today, tomorrow, or yesterday, and so on. And one of the things that I want to do with this table is to, uh, with this report is to show how many keywords I have in the top five positions, um, the top 10 positions, top 20 positions, because that's, that's an important part of the picture. Like I may have a lot of keywords that are showing up in Google, but if, if they're all showing up in up greater than position 20, that's not worth that much to me. Whereas having keywords in, in the top uh, positions one to 10 is, is, is worth a lot more. So, the obvious way to do this is to insert a time series chart. And so we have, uh, I'll change clicks here to query. And, and that'll by default to account because a query is a text value. So if it was a numeric value, it would default to a sum. But in this case, it's going to default, default to account of queries. And then to do that business of showing how many are in, in positions one to five and so on, I could add a breakdown dimension. And what I want to be able to do is add a custom field that does the grouping. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And, and we can't do it using the direct search console connector. And the reason for that is that, that Data Studio won't allow us to do a case statement that uses aggregated fields in a formula and we want to use the average position as the field that we want to use in our formula and then return a text value. So there is a workaround. Uh, it's kind of weird. <laughs> so I'm going to show you that. So we're going to go to resources, manage blended data, and I'm going to go to create a new blend. I'm going to pick search console as my data source. And I'm going to add date as a dimension and query as a dimension. Now here's where it gets weird. Now I'm going to add another data source and I'm going to once again connect to the same search console account. And then I'm going to add average position and we'll just throw in impressions. Um, I don't think we're going to use it. And then I'm going to name this just so I can find it later. So I'm going to call it GSC self blend. I'm going to save that and close it. Now I'm going to switch this. Let's see if I can see my Sometimes it doesn't show up right away. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to insert time series chart. And now we've got self blend available. Okay. So with a blend, I can't add a calculated field to the data source, but I can add it to the report. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to add this as a breakdown dimension, which means it'll break down the time series and give me multiple trend lines. I'm going to create a field and I'm going to call this position group. And I'm going to say case when average position is greater than zero and average position is less than or equal to five, then I want the value to be one to five. Then I'm gonna say when average position is less than, and I only, I don't actually need to say greater than five because the way a case statement works is that it evaluates these in sequence. So it's already bucketed keywords that were in positions one to five. So I'm going to say less than or equal to 10, then five to 10, 
and when average position less than or equal to 20, then we'll say uh, it's actually 11 to 20. I should change that. Uh, this to say 6 to 10. And then I'm just for else, I'm just going to say return greater than 20. End my case statement. And I'm going to apply that. Okay. Now um, we've got our position group. We don't actually want average position to be the value. We want query to be the value. Okay. So now it's got this greater than 20, 11 to 20, uh, 6 to 10, 1 to 5. Uh, and it's so it's actually doing what we want it to do. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the style and look here. What I really like is a stacked area chart. Oh, look at that. So so here, so, I mean, isn't this cool? Like, so you can see, um, and I, I don't know, let's, we'll, we'll go ahead and view this. And then I'm going to, I'm going to pick up a, a bigger, um, date range. Let's say this year to date. Okay. Not exactly what we want to see <laughs> that the, um, it, the number of, of keywords ranking is actually trending down. This is not ideal, but, but I'm not showing you this to, um, sh show off, uh, keyword ranking. I'm showing it to show you a, a, a technique for tracking. And, and in fact, you can see that the number of, of keywords in positions of one to five has actually gone down as well. So, so there you go. I, I guess one thing I didn't mention is so, so the problem is with that auto aggregated field, uh, the average position in a regular data source, Google won't let us use that in the, in a um, calculated field. But for some reason, if we do this self blend technique, I, and, and I say some reason because, because you, you, when you're adding fields to it, to a data source, you can, turn off auto aggregation, but I didn't do that in this case. So we go to edit and we go to resources and we go to blended data and we go to our self blend. Then this little over here, that AUT, that means these are still auto aggregated fields, but for some reason we can do that position grouping uh, when we create a self blend. So there you have it.